Speed runs are all about going fast and trying to achieve world records. But with so many speed runs for one game, how could you achieve a world record right now? Well, I'm gonna speed run a game no one has even tried a speed running. Super Jumpy YT World. And with so many skips and tricks in this game, it's a probably a reason why yet no one has even tried to speed run this game before. But, without further ado, let's go! The timer starts when you hit new game, and the first level isn't really that bad. You do a little jumps, dodge this, Goomba right before a checkpoint, and once you know it, you're already beating the level. The second level requires a super precise pipe entering phase, and you gotta grab a mushroom at the very start to damage boost past this piranha plant pipe. There's no real reason to talk about the third level except these freaking moles who ruined my good 1-3. 1-4 has the most hardest skip in the entire run. And there we go, we just easily skipped the whole level. Yeah, into World 2. This world is basically just a huge reset point in the run. And that's mainly because of the second level, the first ghost house. And it's basically really hard, and it's very long if you don't know the speedrun route. Basically, gotta grab Mushroom, and then grab a Propeller, and do one of basically the hardest trick jumps in the entire run. I'm not joking. Because it's really, really difficult. And yeah, that's basically- You also gotta do this part at the end, which is really hard without a Mushroom. The third level is a narrow reset point because of the part near the end with these two piranha plants. Oh my god, is it that hard? Two Nice Airship is the first airship level and contains the first Bowser Jr. fight. There's also this platform part which is really hard with the timing. So yeah, on to World 3. The third level is the hard part of this world. It's basically just an underground level, except... It's basically just a bigger and harder version of World 1-2. The castle alone in this world has a bunch of buzz saws, so it means a lot of waiting. And there's also a winged boom boom fight, which requires more waiting. The first level in the final world is basically just a big winged lava bubble avoiding obstacle course. The ghost has in this world is basically just free falling the video game. It's just dropping down. The second last level in the game is in our airship level, and I died twice on the Bowser Jr. fight. So yeah, that's a big time waste. On to the final level, where the start is a boom boom in a winged boom boom boss fight, and you have to kill both of them for an ultra super strat that is at the end. Then you grab this hidden key, ride the final snake block in the game, and then enter the final boss fight where the skip is activated. Yep, that's the reason why you need three keys, so you can completely skip the final boss fight. Anyways, my final time is 23 minutes and 48 seconds. If you want to watch the full run, then I'll surely upload it as soon as this video comes out. Okay, bye.